bulking is important. I see a lot of people on the internet, they promote um, the lean bulk, right? Which is like slowly adding weight to your body. But, you know, that's something that I do not agree with. I agree with, you know, dirty bulk, dirty bulk all day for me. Um, when I first started my bulk, I was 178 pounds. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for long enough, you would know that. But if you're a new subscriber, then, you know, that's some news for you. I started out at 178. I bulked up to 225 pounds. And I can remember that it was like extremely hard trying to get to just 200. But what I found was that once I reached 200, that was like, that was the wall for me. Once I got past that, it was just a lot easier to put on weight. So now I'm 214, 215, and it seems like it's real easy for me to pick up weight. So once I got to 225, I've done a couple of like small little diets here and there. The lowest I got in body weight was like 199. I got below 200, and then after that, I just fell off a of dieting. And then I wouldn't say I ballooned back up, but you know, I'm back to 215. 225 I'll put that right here boom and I don't know I'm not saying that you need to get you know because I almost added close to 50 pounds but this was over like years though this wasn't 50 pounds in one year this was like four or five years so like 10 pounds a year which is not crazy at all but you skinny guys out there man Vulcan is your friend I once too was skinny in high school I graduated high school weighing 168 pounds like I didn't get to the 200s until like my late 20s, early 30s. So yeah, you gotta keep going, man. It was it was a lot of protein shakes. That's why I still consume protein shakes to this day because that's an easier way to get calories in. It was protein shakes with bananas, peanut butter, oatmeal. Um, I would make like these bowls, and they would basically be with like steak, beans, rice, cheese, guacamole. Just basically like a whole bunch of high calorie foods. That's what I would eat. And I would also have, you know, smoothies with my bananas, the fruits. Um, and I was taking stuff to work, eating it at work, snacks, um, granola bars, um, oatmeal, just a lot of high calorie stuff, bro. So it's possible. You know, 
year. I know, I know it's, it's harder it's harder for some people to put on weight because, you know, some people have higher metabolisms, but man, you, you can get it done. Put the weight on. 
Now, if you have health issues, um, hypertension, now I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but if you have anything that might be exacerbated by taking in certain foods or, you know, a higher calorie diet, then that's something you're gonna have to talk to your dietitian with, or if you don't have one, then you should go get one or your doctor or, you know, whoever you would have to consult before you, you know, make that choice. But with me, I didn't have any health issues, so I tried to have it like, 70, 30, like 70% of my foods would be like the healthier foods like eggs, oatmeal, um, peanut butter, rice, chicken, beef, um, smoothies, yogurt, you know, stuff like that. And then 30% would be candy, cake, ice cream, um, shoot, cereal, like whatever. You know, I would, I would throw those in just to make it easier put the weight on because when you're bulking that's, that's really all you care about really, right? Put on that weight.